Jesus! Trip! Bear. Sorry, sorry. I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone co- Did you leave Clementine alone? No, Kenny's with her. We still can't open that armory door. You sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Uh, Ben? Where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back. Oh. Oh, no. Bing, you idiot. What the fuck is going on? They're coming. Oh, shit. That ought to hold them. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you! This is my fault. All my fault. What the hell's he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean, this is all your fault? Penny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. I opened the door. I let them in. Ben, we don't have time for this now. I'm sorry, Lee. I can't do this anymore. He's got a right to know. Know what? It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the Motor Inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... <laughs> <laughs> Kitty man, I agree with you. You should kick his ass. But now it's not the time. I gotta focus on getting out of here. You little pisshead! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dead! My wife The child! You gotta both fucking kill! Kitty, listen to me. You can whip his skinny little ass later. But right now, we gotta go! Nice group you got here. Not the time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! You hear me, shitbird? You can stay behind and fucking rot! Kenny, we'll sort this out later, after we get out of here, okay? Ain't nothing to sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here! Well, I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well. But all I want to do is get back to Omi, and you put that at risk. Wait, don't I get a vote? Of course you do. Of course you do. Ben's nice. He's my friend. We don't leave friends behind. That's my vote. On second thought, I think I'm gonna abstain. Lee? Oh. I've seen enough of Crawford to know that becoming like them is the beginning of the end. I vote Ben stays with us. What about the rest of us? Don't we get a say? <laughs> I know. Now can we go? Damn right. Vernon, come on. So much for the armory. What's left of it? A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I could. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on. There's got to be a way out down here. Not gonna hold. Back upstairs. Lee, look. Oh. 
in the corner. Go in the corner. Smashing them. Rampage combo. Two. Three. Combo breaker. Come on. It's all right, Clem. I'm fine. Any way out of here? This leads to the roof. We might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? Yeah. Yes. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. Well, what are we waiting for? Go, go! I didn't like Ben, but that was tough, man. Krista? Everything okay? Oh, me! Clem, stay back. Don't get any closer. I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him! We got you medicine. Good. Feel like I could use some. Where's Ben? He didn't make it. What happened? Dumb son of a bitch nearly got us all killed. Lee stepped up and did what he had to. That's what happened. Oh. Not funny, Clementine. He's going, asshole. What's eating you? Yeah, I did what I had to, but I don't expect Clementine to understand that. Hell, I don't want her to understand it. 
You did the right thing. Trust me. She'll understand. I'm gonna go start work on the boat. Okay. With a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes. Thank you so much. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk in private. Sorry about Bree. About what happened to Bree. Please, save your sympathy for someone who's buying it. What? You don't think by now I got you figured? You don't strike me as someone who has a lot of consideration for others. Look at what you did to get me to come here with you in the first place. You expect me to believe you give a shit that it wound up costing Bree her life? Now just hold on a damn minute. Listen! No, you listen. You got some good people here and they look to you as their leader. Well, I'm here to tell you the kind of leader you are. They're not gonna make it much longer. And you're kidding yourself if you think putting them all on a boat is gonna solve anything. Now, you may not care about all of those people, but I know you care about that little girl. Which is why I'm gonna make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands, take her back with me to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. No. That's what you want for her, isn't it? To be safe? I'm gonna pretend you didn't say any of this and give you a chance to walk away, which you ought to do right now. I know you think you're doing what's best for her. And if you were her real father, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But you're not, are you? Just another one of your lies. That little girl's in my care. We've been through more together than you can imagine. Anyone who tries to get between me and her, anyone, is gonna wind up dead. You hear me? Take your hands off me. somewhere yeah I'm about to head out I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything it's been fun what are you talking about Kenny's working on the boat right now thought you were coming with us God knows you earned it yeah I've been thinking it over it's not for me sounds like it'd be pretty crowded and I never did like the water you sure about this? I'm sure. I've always done better on my own, anyhow. Listen, I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me? Sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Lee. And you be sure to take care of that little girl. You know she thinks the world of you. Good luck. Ain't nothing to do with luck. Hey, sweet pea. Kenny's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We always do. Clem, honey, what's wrong? What happened to Ben? What did Kenny mean when he said you did what you had to? Clem, you have to believe me. I tried to save him, but Ben didn't want me to. What do you mean? What Ben did was very brave. He knew we were running out of time, and that saving him 
might put everyone else in danger. So he told me to leave him behind so the rest of us could get away. I know that's difficult to understand. I understand. You do? Yeah. He thought about other people before he thought about himself. My mom always told me that's what makes a good person. Well, she was right. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? I'd like to, Clem, but I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. Clementine? Clementine? Where is everyone? Morning after. Clementine? Clementine! What? God. No. Are you crazy? What are you doing out here? It ain't safe. Lee, where's Clementine? She's not in her oh, room. Oh no. Vernon ain't in the house either. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? I'll be honest. It's mine. Oh my god. No way. No. No fucking way. There's no time to worry about me. Clementine's gone. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No. No way. Then who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night, Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Okay. What do you need from us? I don't know what to do here. I don't even know if I can ask for your help. Lee, we're a team. That's how we've made it this far. We're not going to just abandon you. Even now? Especially now. You've earned that much. Damn straight. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What are we waiting for? Thanks, you guys. I appreciate it. Really. You 
You've always been there for me, Lee. Always had my back when it mattered. What kind of friend would I be if I wasn't there for you now? Bitten or not, I'm with you to the end. You can count on me. Okay, guys, we should go find Vernon, see if he took her. Let's head out. What about the boat? We just gonna leave it unguarded? If someone was gonna take it, they'd have done it already. Besides, what choice do we have? Where are these fucks about? What? Where the hell are they? Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon, get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. That's not a good sound. Guys, I think we maybe should start moving. Clementine, are, are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! Holy! Vernon! Put Clementine back on! I want to talk to her! This isn't Vernon. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully. <laughs> 